Toyota unveiled its most luxurious SUV. The Century is Japan's answer to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and is highly limited to just 30 units per month. To many, it is a luxed-up, lifted, SUV, and a more imposing version of the Century sedan. For Toyota, however, it isn't a sport utility vehicle, the Japanese automaker has published a new three-page report in its own Toyota Times corporate magazine, which details the development of the Century SUV. This video explains that the development was led by Yoshikazu Tanaka, who joined Toyota in 1987 and has worked as chief engineer within the company. The design was overseen by Tatsuda Sonoda, who has worked on more than 30 models of the company. And while the entire feature is interesting, we find one part particularly intriguing. Many people would probably argue the Century is a typical SUV. Just take a look at the high belt line, the massive wheel arches, and the body cladding in a contrasting color, and you'll probably agree. However, Toyota doesn't agree with this definition. We arrived at this profile by focusing on the backseat passenger pursuing a car that inherits the unique Century character while catering to the diversifying values of the times. From that perspective too, we never set out to build an SUV. I would describe this car as a new concept for chauffeur-driven mobility, Tanaka explains. But who is Toyota's target with the new Century? Well, in a previous article, the automaker's boss Akio Toyota said the luxury not SUV will also suit younger people, as well as those who previously felt that a Century sedan was not for them. This was rather surprising considering that the starting price of the model in Japan is approximately $167,000 with current exchange rates, one might begin to wonder how many young people can afford a vehicle that is almost five times more expensive than the Land Cruiser 300. Lead designer Sonoda shines more light on the overall concept. The Century is more than just another model within the Toyota brand, it carries Toyota's corporate identity. The Century has a distinctive centuriness that is about more than merely physical form, encompassing the car's stature and aura. We spent our days grappling with the question of inheritance and evolution, what aspects of centuriness do we retain, and what do we try to evolve? Under the ceremonial suit, the Century hides a hybrid powertrain consisting of a 3.5-liter V6 engine, a CVT, and all-wheel drive thanks to a rear-mounted electric motor. This system is good for 406 horsepower. For now, there's no mention of a V8 engine, let alone a V12, which the second-generation Century was equipped with starting in April 1997. After the Crown received the SUV treatment, Toyota is putting stilts on an even more prestigious model. Simply known as the Century, the new Luxabarge is Japan's Rolls-Royce Cullinan and might end up being even more exclusive since the sales projection is of only 30 units per month. It's far more luxurious than any Toyota-slash-Lexus SUV before it but it's also the most expensive. It costs 25 million Japanese yen, which works out to approximately $170,000 the boxy SUV with split horizontal lights a la Genesis is imposingly large, measuring 197.8 inches, 5,205 mm, long, 78.3 in, 1990 mm, wide, and 1805 mm, 71 in, tall. It's shorter but wider than the Century sedan and only seats four instead of five. It boasts a generous wheelbase of 116.1 in, 2,950 mm, and tips the scales at a hefty 5,665 pounds, 2,570 kg, dot, getting in and out of those posh rear seats should be a breeze since there are grab handles on the C-pillars, electrically deployable side steps, and rear doors that open to a 75-degree angle. Alternatively, there are minivan-like electric sliding rear doors, as shown during the presentation on a rather interesting GR-badged variant, just like the stately sedan, it eschews the Toyota badge in favor of the more prestigious Phoenix emblem found at the front and rear as well as on the elegant multi-spoke wheels. Underpinning the Century SUV is the ubiquitous TNGA platform but with upgrades made to the body's torsional rigidity and other improvements to boost ride comfort.
Toyota installs clear laminated glass on the cabin side of the cargo space separator so that people relaxing on the fully reclining seats don't hear any noises coming from the cargo area. In addition, there's a rear comfort mode that once enabled, distributes the driving and braking force in such a way as not to disturb rear occupants. At the heart of the new century is a plug-in hybrid powertrain based around a 3.5-liter V6 engine with a CVT and all-wheel drive thanks to a rear-mounted electric motor. Featuring a combined output of 406 horsepower, 303 kilowatts, it matches that of the Lexus TX-550H but we're fairly certain some would have wanted the 5.0-liter V8 of the sedan. By the way, the second generation of the sedan was Toyota's only V12 production model ever, the model will be sold at select dealers in Japan, and Toyota plans to expand the model's customizability to truly one-of-a-kind builds. Don't worry, the Century sedan will remain on sale.